Welcome to Medicine Woman Tarot. This is going to be a general reading for the sign of Taurus. Please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Father God, in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, tell me to give a clear and accurate reading for the sign of Taurus. If you'd like to make any donations towards my channel, you can find the link in the description section. Just as a side note, with any donation you give, if you choose to, you could ask me a question in the comment section, and I will make a tarot video for you answering that question. I want to apologize in advance for any background noise you may hear due to the dog snoring. I scurried the crystal ball for you today, and the image that appeared within the crystal ball has uh, lots of meaning behind it. Uh, the first image that appeared was like two men arguing, and they were in like a ballroom setting and wearing like the clothes that men used to wear during like the ballrooms. And it looks like they were either hitting each other with like swords or with their hands. It was hard to tell, it got fuzzy there. And the image changed then where the man that was fighting with him had his arm like around uh, a female and she had shoulder length blonde hair and she was like in a ballroom dress as well and wore white gloves and it's like he was trying to protect this female against this male that was um standing in the doorway he had like dark hair and all i could see was the back of him and then the image changed where the woman with the uh shoulder length blonde hair was uh, holding hands with uh, another woman that was wearing like a dress and the same kind of like white gloves and it looked like they were friends like they hadn't seen each other in a while so they were like both clasping each other's hands and laughing and smiling and the whole time this man the one that was fighting with him um, and with her it looked like was standing you know by the wall the side wall spying on her so how I interpret this is there could be, you know, someone in your life, probably someone from your past that is spying on you is what I feel like. And perhaps you have someone in your life already or going to who is your like significant other who is protecting you against this individual. And, you know, but this person is spying on you, you know, they spy on you when you're, you know, with your friends or, you know, whatever you're doing, it seems like they're just observing you because they're coming from this like very uh, jealous, angry energy where they're. You know, trying to just like they're like obsessed with you is what I'm seeing here and they're coming from like a low vibrational energy now this can be someone that you had been with in the past this could have been a, a friend uh, a relative even you know so take it how it resonates uh, it'll apply differently to everyone but the first card to come out for you today was the knight of wands so with the knight of wands being here I feel like this is the energy of this negative individual I feel like they're trying to come in very quickly. This is someone that's very rash. They don't think before they leap. This is someone that is very flighty, kind of a non-dependable energy. And I feel like they're coming in very quickly, trying to enter back into your life. And they're trying to come back with this Knight of Swords energy, you know, of not missing an opportunity here. So they they see you as an opportunity and they're moving in very quickly. Next card I'll offer you is the Five of Wands. So this is like with arguing. They want to cause arguments. They want to cause disputes and fighting and drama within your life. Next card out is the Fool card because I believe in the past you took a chance on this individual here. But they proved themselves to be the Seven of Cups, which is someone with like a lot of options. This is someone that is not reliable and they're always putting you on the back burner and putting everything before you is what I feel like. You know, what they're... This is the energy I'm like feeling like they're... They're trying to... um trying to like sh always like i'm trying to word this right there's like this, this is the energy that i'm feeling like they're always trying to you know make you feel like they're always trying to put you on the back burner trying to like make you question your worth is what i feel that they're trying to uh you know come back in your life to do they're trying to put you in a negative um state of mind next card out is the ten of wands because they want to cause you burdens they want to cause you heartache Next card out for you is the moon card. So with the moon card being here, this is something you don't see, but something that's going to be illuminated to you. Next card out for you is the chariot. So with the chariot being here, this is fast paced uh, movement This is coming in very quickly. And what's coming in very quickly for you is the eight of cups energy, which is, you know, you leaving this person behind, you not putting up with it anymore. And that was clarified by the three of coins, where you're going to be surrounding yourself around people that are like-minded collaboration, that are on the same wavelength as you, that are not coming from a demonic energy. Next card I'll offer you is winter solstice bear hibernation. So with this card coming out, so you know to you know basically go on that Virgo energy of the hermit of keeping to yourself. You know, try to get as much rest as you can, and just know in the times of you know unknowingness is when miracles happen. And 
the next card out for you is Sycamore Subconscious. So with this card coming out, so you know to surround yourself around a lot of water at this time and to meditate and to pay attention to water in your dreams because that's going to let you know about certain situations, you know, how the water appears. And it's letting you know to release any, you know, past traumas or past wounds or even like the wounds that this person has caused you. Try to release it. I know that could be easier said than done. But try to release it so that you can move on and not have them, you know, in your mind or in your energy. Um, the sycamore tree has lots of medicinal benefits. The Native Americans traditionally made tea from the inner bark to treat a variety of ailments from cold to dysent dysentery. Uh, the sycamore tree usually grows along water, so it's always near water. So it's letting you know at this time that water is going to be very help for you, helpful for you, you know, to meditate, you know, and feel a connection, you know, to God. You know, so surround yourself to, you know, water and, you know, basically meditate, you know, say your prayers to Jesus and just like kind of block out the world and, you know, try to clear your mind from this person's like negative energy. But all in all, I do see a very positive reading here for you. You're going to be surrounding yourself around people that are like-minded like you that are not coming from this low vibrational demonic energy. All right, if this resonates with you, Taurus, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe.